Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how we can configure DSCP server. Okay, so we are going to do how we can configure DSCP server. In the packet tracer we are going to do this one. So in the packet tracer already we have the server also. If you go here and click this server, drag and drop here. In this server you have the feature of DSCP also. Click and go to the services and you can see you have the DSCP for IPv4, DSCP for IPv6. So now we are going to focus on DSCP IPv4. So here we have the services we can enable. By default it is off, we can enable this one. Okay, so let's do one small scenario. What I will do, I will take one switch from here. Okay, this is one switch I taken and I'm going to take some PC, I will take some PC here. I will give one, two, three, and we can take some laptops also. I will take some PC and some laptop, and we are going to connect. So I will take this automatic cable, I am going to connect with this laptop. I am going to connect all this laptop to the P, uh, switch, and I am going to connect this to the server. So this is a small scenario. Imagine in your organization, you have some PCs connected to the switch, you can give this name, you can label this one as a SW1 and you have DSCP server, okay, DSCP server we can say and you can give here IP. I will put the label, I am going to use here 1.1. .1. This is the IP address of the DSCP server, okay. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to go to this DSCP and go here to the desktop, go to the IP config assign the IP here. So I'm going to assign this IP 192.168.1.1. Then by default, you will get the subnet mask, whatever subnet mask you are getting because this is a class C IP. So you are going to get this subnet mask and gateway. Now we are not using any router. So no need for the gateway and DNS no need. So we can keep this empty. If you want to give gateway, you can give also no issue. Example, maybe you will say I need to give the gateway as 192.168.1.100. Okay, give no issue. And you will say I need to give the DNS as 8.8.8. .8. Okay, give like this. No issue. Later, maybe this topology we will use. We will connect the router and we will access the internet. So now we will give no issue. So this is a normal procedure to assign the IP address to this server in the packet tracer. So I assign the IP to this server. Then I can close like this, cancel, and then I will go to the services. When I go to the services, here you can see I will select the DSCP. When I select the DSCP, you will get here. By default, DSCP service is off. You can click here on, and then you can do the configuration. This is a pool, default pool you have here. You can click here and you can modify as per your requirement, or you can create the new one also. So I will use the default one only, whatever this is, uh, pool we have server pool I will use same thing okay server pool you can create or you can add new one but anyhow I am using the default one so here what we need to do we need to give the default gateway so what is the default gateway we told just now we told default gateway we will give as a 192.168.1.100 so we will keep that one that IP here then you need to keep the DNS what DNS we are going to use we are going to use 8.8.8.8 just now we told right so I will put 8.8.8.8 after that you need to put the IP starting IP address from which IP you need to start here I give 1.1 .1, okay and the gateway is 100 so we can start from 1.2 so I can say here 192 1.2 we can give or if you want to save some IP, I will give here 10. So 192, 168, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, till 1.10, they will save that IP. So I am saying start from this number. So when this server is going to give the IP address to this computer, they will start from 192, 168, 1.10, then 1.11, then 1.12, like this. And this is a 255, 255, 255. This is a subnet mask they are going to give and how many user they need to give. I can say I have only 50 user give to only 50 user. Okay, I will say I have only 50 user give to only 50 user. And we don't have the TFTP server, we don't have the WLC controller, so we will not give any IP and just save here. When you save this default, what we can say default pool will be modified. 
okay default pool will be modified so you will have that default value so this is a default name we did not create it any new whatever is existing we use that one only and we modify only the gateway dns starting ip subnet mask and we told we have only 50 computer so we need maximum user means they are going to give to maximum 50 user ip and we are not using any tftp or wlc controller in this scenario so we will give here nothing so it taken the default value 000 okay so this is a configuration for the dscp server in cisco packet tracer later we will see we can use router uh, router also as a dscp server we need to do some configuration but now we are going to focus here only we are going to use the built-in server to use as a dscp server later we will see how we can configure the router as a dscp server okay so this one is finished now what we can do we can verify this server is giving the ip or not you can go to any machine here okay i go to this machine just click desktop go to ip configuration move this icon from the static to dscp so i will select the dscp when i select the dscp i get the ip 192.168.1.10 you remember i told here if you see this configuration i told ip will start from 1.10 192 .10. 1.10 so you can see here this machine which machine i think this machine right this machine get the ip which machine i think this one let me check i don't know which machine we use this one pc one so this machine this machine get the ip 192.168.1.10 this is a subnet mask whatever default subnet mask we have this is a ip address we get this is a default subnet mask this is a gateway this is a dns so whatever we configure here in this server okay whatever we configure in this server we are getting that information here so now first machine we taken this one so this machine get 192.168.1.10 now we are going to check in this one so here you are going to get at last 11 here okay let's see let's verify so i will go to this machine click okay and go here and select the dscp and wait for some time and you can see you get the ip 192.168.1.11 dora process will take care they will send the discover offer request later we will see now we are focusing more on the lab so this machine get the ip address 192.168.1.11 and now we can check this one go same procedure and wait for some time you will get 1.12 okay 192.168.1.12 so this is also finished now we can go for this machine and go here and do same thing you will get the ip from the dscp 1.13 and do here you will get 1.14 you can do here 1.14 you can see 192.168.1.14 okay so our lab done successfully this server configuration is done successfully that's why our all machines are getting the ip address okay so this is the basic lab in this one we check how we can configure the dscp server in packet tracer okay how we can configure the dscp server dscp server in packet tracer we can do one more thing also we can take one router and we can configure inside the router so later we are going to see that one now our main focus take the default server whatever is present in the cisco packet tracer and do the configuration so we done that one so now you can understand how we can configure after that you can verify also it is working perfectly so i hope it is clear in case if you face any issue you can whatsapp us or join our telegram channel you will get this lab file there telegram channel link is in our uh, video description you can join from there to get the more lab files and also we are starting the new batch of ccna 200-301 if you want to join the live batch you can join you can interact with us and you will get the all the recorded video notes and the lab files and many more things so if you want to join the live batch we have two live batch morning and evening so which one you are interested whatsapp us so we will see which slot is available we will update you okay thank you see you bye